Hello there, fellow fishermen. Before I show you what you came to see, I would like to quickly state that the all tackle record for muskie that is recognized by the IFTA is 67 pounds 8 ounces and was caught in 1949 in Wisconsin and was measured at 60 and 1 quarter inches long. That's a mighty big fish. Now, in New York, in New York, they caught a muskie which is not recognized by the IFGA that was 69 pounds and 15 ounces, which is just a couple uh, pounds bigger than the actual record recognized by the IFGA, which I am guessing stands for the International Fishing Ga Fish and Game Association. I'm just guessing. But the pictures you're about to see are from 1908. They're authenticated as being from 1908. There was no photoshopping in 1908. Uh, I don't know if they even had the word computer in 1908. So these are not fakes. I read an article by a guy that was supposed to be an expert on uh, uh, the muscalunge. And he, his argument that they were fake pictures... <laughs> was that was basically there's no way a muskie could grow that big it's genetically impossible well apparently he never heard of a guy named Robert Wadlow because Robert Wadlow is a real guy you can look him up on the internet and you can see a picture of him and you can see a video of him and I will even post a link to a documentary of the guy. The guy was a shade under nine feet tall. Now, if I told you that there was somebody that was nine feet tall, uh, you would be like, that's impossible. But we have pictures of the guy, just like we have pictures of this muskie that is seven foot four, 110 pounds. That's right. He's seven foot four inches long and 110 pounds it was netted in the state of michigan it was not caught on a rod and reel because i do not think a rod and reel existed in 1908 that could catch a fish like that but uh anyways without further ado here it is There's two different pictures of uh, the same fish and two different guys posing with the fish. Um, but it just goes to show you, when you cast your line in the water, there's no telling what is down there. And uh, a quick story. Um, I was fishing in the Niagara River, and I had a friend, and we were fishing for salmon. And I had a friend who was fishing with 30 pound XT extra tough line. And I looked at the guy and he's just straining and pulling and his rod's bent in half. And I'm thinking, what the hell is he doing? So I walk over and I'm like, you got a snag or something? He goes, no, I got a fish and I can't move it. And I'm, I'm like, uh, you got a snag, dude. That's 30 pound XT. Uh, you don't have a fish. And he goes, I have a fish. I'm telling you I have a fish. And his face is beet red. And I don't know how long he's been fighting this fish. And there's sweat pouring off his face. And he's finally, he's mad because I won't believe him. Because I'm a skeptic. Just like that guy that said that there could never ever be anything like a 7 foot 4 muskie. So he says, take it. And he hands me the fishing rod. So I grab the fishing rod. And uh, I have better upper body strength than he does. And I'm able to muscle the fish off the bottom. And yes, it was a fish. And uh, I get it up off the bottom. And I, I can feel I'm moving it. But it's not moving back. And then uh, I'm like, well, whatever I'm snagged onto, maybe I'm snagged onto a power line or something. I don't know what the hell I'm snagged onto. Whatever it is, uh, it's heavy. 
and then I feel it swim, the back and forth motion that can only be a fish, and it just swam back to the bottom and just sat there. And then I'm like, dude, you do have a fish on here. And I hand the rod back to him. I said, you're going to have to break it off, though. You're not getting this fish in. Whatever it is, it weighs well over 100 pounds. Now, I didn't know it at the time, but in the in the Niagara River, they're sturgeon. So he had hooked the sturgeon. And uh, on another fishing trip, I actually saw a, a sturgeon in the water that looked like it was about 8 feet long because salmon, like 20 pound and 30 pound salmon was swimming alongside it and they looked like bluegill next to it. And uh, so I was thinking, I wonder if that's the fish that my cousin hooked that one day. <laughs> you know, like the, that's just a thought that ran through my head. But anyways, that just goes to show you, as a fisherman, you don't know what's down there in that water. You don't know what monsters lurk beneath that surface. And uh, there could be anything down there. And there's been many times as a fisherman where I've hooked a fish and lost it. And I would pay 50 bucks just to see what it was. I hooked a fish in um, oh, uh, Mosquito Reservoir in Ohio. Whatever it was, it was like hooking a freight train. I didn't have it on for very long because uh, it cut my line. And uh, now that it cut my line, I had my line was set up. I had uh, uh, a mirror 10-pound uh, line on there because I'm fishing for walleye. That's not surprising, you know, that it could break 10-pound line. What was surprising was is I had 20-pound line and I had an offset sinker that was away from the hook it cut not only the line the 10 pound line it cut the 20 pound line that it wasn't even didn't even have a hook on it it just had sinkers so i reel in like that's i'm just looking at it dumbfounded i'm reeling and i'm looking at the 20 pound lines been cut that had the sinkers in it on it and i'm looking at the line that had the hook on it also cut but whatever it was, um, I'm assuming it was a muskie. It was a, you know, it was a joke to try to even attempt to uh, reel anything in like that on ten pound line. It was like I, I it just ran and I, it, I never gained an a centimeter of line on it. But anyways, that's enough uh, chatter out of me. I just wanted to show you these amazing fish pictures. And uh, just remind you as a fisherman, when you go out fishing, that uh, anything is possible. You don't know what's down there when you're casting your line into the water. And uh, if I had the Jaws theme, I would be playing it right now. But I'm not going to put that much effort in this video. But man, next time you go fishing, good luck. And I hope you catch something that uh, is taller than you are.